Passports versus Passport. Child, it is already a lie. And we just started. It is a lie. <laughs> lunch right now I think this is my twins first time on a cruise this is my second cruise so I'm glad at least one of us has gone on one before so we feel a little familiar about what to do um but yeah we're just gonna eat and so we can check into our room we can't check in until like 1 30 so we're just gonna chill and eat we're about to leave the port soon it's so pretty it's such a pretty day today um I dig in the shower and I got changed my twin is taking a nap, which I actually should be doing because I'm really tired as well. I got like no sleep last night, but I got like three hours of sleep, so I should actually be taking a nap as well. But yeah, maybe I'll take a nap and then come for five o'clock in an hour or so, get up and we can have some fun. So at least I'm cute. And I think I'll take a nap. Is that a jellyfish or a plastic bag? So that night we basically just did a lot of the social and events they had around the cruise and it was fun. So today is, I don't even know what today is, Saturday? I don't know, it doesn't matter, but we're about to go on a tour around Key West. We're on a trolley tour. It's like hop on, hop off, so you can just kind of get a feel of the different things around and decide like kind of where you want to spend your time. So I felt like this was a good way for us to see everything without like getting too tired initially and then going to find something else. It's really pretty out today and I'm just looking forward to having a good time. Taking that off, taking that off me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Uh -huh. I'm talking late night for you. Let me lay a great time on you. Don't make me wait, no, don't you. Just say you So this is the outfit for tonight. They said dress up, but this is as best it's gonna get. What? It was a suggestion that you could if you wanted to. But I just went from day to night with this top, and I went from day to night with this top, and then just paired it with these black pants. I'm just gonna throw in some heels and take this cute little purse. We ready for a night? So today is Wednesday and we're on our way to Cozumel. We'll should land there around like 12. It's around like 9-ish, 9.30 or so right now. Um, Key West was cool. I like feel like we went there too early in the morning. Like a lot of things weren't open. So that was kind of like, uh, I don't know. I feel like underwhelming. But we were able still to find some like pretty cool places to find something to eat, to chat with people. Um, but I just feel like we kind of needed more time and I mean now we know like if we were ever gonna go back like how to utilize our time better But it was still nice just to check it out I feel like in general cruises like the time that you have actually on land is very short um, And I guess that's one thing I don't really like about cruises, but I think it's still a cool way to see um, different places So yeah, that was fun um, And then we came back and we went to a like comedy show last night and to a mixer and then like just watch some people like 
played some instruments, so kind of like have mini concerts, if you will. So that was cool. Um, we're supposed to be snorkeling today in Cozumel, and our tour guide like has been messaging us, just letting us know what's going on. There's like a lot of heavy winds and stuff, so I think that has detoured some of the tour that we would take, but I think we're still gonna do it. Um, I'm really excited. I've never snorkeled in Mexico. Actually, is that true? That's true. I've never snorkeled in Mexico, only Hawaii and where I do my research. So I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I hopefully like my camera packaging will work for my phone so I can get some like uh, footage of me snorkeling underwater. That'll be super cool. But I will see you all later when we land in Cozumel. Okay. The next day was a full boat day, so I just decided to relax that whole day. In addition to doing some other things in the boat, but it's mostly just relaxing. So we ended up staying at the Hyatt Regency in Miami. It was very close to everything. Um, so it wasn't too far from South Beach, maybe like 20, 30 minutes without traffic. Um, and other places that we ended up going, like the Wynwood District, was pretty, I guess, centrally located to like things touristy people would want to do. It was a pretty price, but it was a nice hotel. The lobby was nice. They had excellent service as far as like holding your luggage for you. They had like um, a check-in, check-out for your luggage if you wanted to. So if you checked in early or if you checked out early but still were like around, then they will hold your luggage for you. Um... I needed things they brought it to the room so I feel like in general I, we had a really great experience at the hotel and um, we had two I think queen size beds and a patio that we couldn't walk on <laughs> but otherwise it was a really nice hotel <laughs> saw some alligators and a lot of other birds and things of that nature i would recommend renting a car to go though but we had a great time okay so we just no, got no. back from the everglades right now and it was a really fun time she got us trapped with <laughs> speaking are, are you on instagram Are you done? Are you done? Are you finished? He's First lying. of all, you're lying. let me be clear. <laughs> Black people My belong on My brother is telling a lie about okay, we were on the day. We were, He's telling a lie. We're in the Everglades. Okay, and, we're fine. Then, we made it back. He's lying. He's a liar. Seven whole days <laughs> later. Now we're, <laughs> now we're in civilization. <laughs> so tell me why. We had to trick Lyft <laughs> and all of their drivers to get out of Little Lake, Miami suburb. Wait, did you die? Okay. 
Thanks. And then we had to order a ride from the Target to our hotel. Anyway, so we are finally back. The Everglades was beautiful. It was great. We had a little time, hard time getting back to the hotel because it was so far away. Um, but we finally made it back. It was a whole situation of we finding a lift to, to another place to, to then get the lift to bring to us to back to Miami. Back to so it was pretty stressful. She's like, so shall we get dressed for dinner? <laughs> um, and now she we're going to get ready for more. dinner so we can go <laughs> out and have <laughs> It's always this where you're like, yeah, hit the towel. I was like, yeah, that. Because that's not right. <laughs> We're going to currently getting ready to go. We don't know where for dinner. Um, I think we're just happy that we're safe and sound back in Miami. And we just want to get clean because we've been outside all day getting bit. Well, mostly him. Um, but also just being around bugs, being near swamp water. I got a lot of swamp water on me. So it's just like we're ready to get clean, go out. Um, I probably will get dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna get the club because also like I don't even like being that close to people in club like environment. So I don't know if I want my phone out trying to vlog. So we'll see. So we just left the beach. We had a good time. We're just washing off our feet. My twin is being crazy. But it's a good time. consistent breeze definitely Miami over the cruise okay is that you didn't have good luck with the food here no we're on our way to the wind wood art walls art district area um, and today's our last morning we're actually leaving today to go back to real life so vacation is over <laughs> After the smorgasbord, we dropped my twin off at the airport and then I was hanging out with a friend um, in the fashion district and we also went to the Vizcaya Museum. Um, it was a really good time. I did not want to leave Miami. I had such a great time, but this was kind of just how I ended my trip.